NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we will discuss about how to calculate the average output voltage for the buck boost and buck boost converters. These are these various performance measures for these converters: average output voltage, average output current, ripple current, average current flow through the inductor, critical inductance, critical capacitance. The all are the important performance measures for these converters. When you are going to write the examinations, you should know these formulas for the each performance measures for the buck boost and buck boost converters. But it is very difficult to remember these all these formulas for the buck boost and buck boost converters. So you should know to derive this expression in the quickest manner. In this video, we will derive the average output voltage and average output current for the buck boost and buck boost converters. In the next video, we will discuss the other performance measures. So we will discuss for the buck converter. When you are going to derive these expressions for these performance measures, you should know these uh, circuits. Uh, if you remember the circuits, then only you can derive this expression. So for the buck converter, this input voltage, switch, and LC filters. There is a free wheeling diode between switch and LC filters. You should remember the circuits. This switch diode and inductor. This component is called as canonical switch component. If the canonical switch component is rotated in an anti-clockwise direction, it will become a boost current. For example, this is a canonical command switch, diode, and inductor. Here, this command are rotated in anti-clockwise. So uh, the inductor replaces the switch, and the switch replaces the diode. Then the diode replaces the inductor. It will become as a boost conductor. Here, the switch is replaced by inductor, and the diode is replaced by switch, and its inductor is replaced by diode. Okay. Uh, then buck boost converter in the buck in the buck converter if the diode and inductor are interchanged then it will become a buck boost converter this is the tricks to remember these circuits now we will discuss how to find the average output calculations the average output calculations the average output voltage can be derived by using the inductor characteristics what is inductor characteristics this inductor characteristics means the inductor under steady state condition act as a shunt because if the switch voltage changes to on condition after long time the inductor after long time it act as a shunt so voltage across the inductor is zero a transient condition if the switch changes alternatively from on and off on and off the average voltage across the inductor will become a zero so if the switch position alternately changes on to off and on to off then off to on the average voltage across the inductor will become voltage across the inductor vl on in t on plus vl off in t off is equal to zero it is a basic characteristics of the inductor by using this relation we can find the average output voltage this equation is called as old the second balance equation so remember that by using the voltage second balance equation, we can derive the average output voltage. You should know another one find the relation between duty ratio on time and off time. The duty ratio is defined as the Tn by T. What is the value of on time with respect to total time? This is the definition. So Tn is equal to T into D, D means duty ratio. We know T is equal to Tn plus Tf, so Tf is equal to T minus Tn, T minus dt. This formula you should know. Okay, Tn is equal to dt, Tf is equal to T minus dt. Now we will discuss average output voltage calculation for the buck converter. When you derive this performance measures, first you should know this circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram for buck converter switch. Then LC filter, there is a free wheeling diode between switch and LC filters. For calculating the average output voltage, I am going to use the voltage second balance equation. In the old second balance equation, we need the voltage across the inductor during on time and voltage across the inductor during off time. So, during on time, during the switch on period, 
the switch is on to short circuits but the diode will become as reverse bias because the diode will not allow the current from cathode to anode if it's switch on the current flow from fast battery to this direction so it it, it diode will not allow the current from cathode to anode so it will become as a reverse bias so now the circuit will become like this this is the equivalent circuits during switch on period the switch is on diode will become a reverse bias open condition now apply kvl plus minus p plus vln plus v0 minus v in is equal to 0 so we will get vln is equal to v in minus v0 during switch off read this is the basic this is circuits for the buck converter the switch is off condition when the switch is off already the inductor will store the current during switch on period so the inductor discharge the current through this path inductor to load and load to diode and the current will flow from anode to cathode this current will circulate like this so the diode will act as short circuits now the equivalent circuits will become like this switch is off condition diode is in forward bias now apply like this voltage law around this loop we will get vl of is equal to minus v not now use the voltage circuit balance equation so we know the voltage circuit balance equation vl on tn plus vl of tf is equal to zero because average voltage across the inductor is zero this is average voltage across the inductor so vl on value v minus v not we know the tn is equal to dt vl of value minus v not tf is equal to t minus dt so simply with this equation we will get v not is equal to d into v this is the average output voltage relation for the buck current for the boost converter this is the boost converter for the calculation of average output voltage you should know the voltage across the inductor during on time and off time so during on period the switch is short circuit on if the switch is on all this is short circuits all the current flows from short circuit path so there is no current flows towards the diode if it is shorted in this point the voltage will be zero so the diode will become a reverse bias so the equal circuits will become like this the switch is on the diode is off all this current flows towards the short circuit path now apply the graph voltage law in this loop we will get vl on is equal to v in plus vl minus v in is equal to zero so off read so you switch off read this is the post converter circuits the switch is open so this current flows from here so this current flow from source to inductor and inductor to anode anode to low the diode will become forward bias so the equivalent circuit will become like this when the switch is open diode will become as a forward bias so apply equivalent voltage law in this loop we will get vl of is equal v in minus v not so uh, substitute in this values in the old sign balance equation we will get the average output voltage so vl on substitute here vl on is equal to v in t and dt plus vl of vl of v in minus v not t of is equal to t minus dt is equal to zero simply with this equation we will get v not is equal to v in by one minus d this is the average output voltage for the boost counter now we will discuss the average output voltage calculation for the buck boost counter here also the average output voltage calculated by using the odd second balance equation so you should know the odd jagger as the inductor during on time and off time during the switch on period is shorted the diode does not allow this current flow from cathode to anode so the diode will become as a reverse bias so the, now the equivalent circuits will become like this when the switch on the diode is in reverse bias so after this voltage around this loop will get vl on is equal to v in during switch off read when the switch is open the charged current in the inductor will discharge through load to diode in this direction 
does not flow towards the loop this side because this diode allows current from anode to cathode so the equivalent circuit will become like this you open and shut apply this voltage around this loop so we will get vl of z equal v not substitute in this whole signal balance equation so uh, vl on is equal to v in in the dt plus vl of z equal to v not t minus dt is equal to 0 symbol with this equation we will get v not is equal to v in by d minus 1 if the average voltage v not is equal to v in by 1 minus d this is a boost connector if average output voltage v not is equal to v in by d minus 1 this is a boost connector another one point the d to the ratio always less than 1 because to the ratio is equal to tn by t always tn less than total time so always to the ratio is less than 1 so yeah, substitute here we are always the v not average output voltage in the buckwurst counter will be negative 1 because the value always less than 1 so we will get the negative output voltage always for buckwurst counter for any duty ratio so in the buckwurst counter always current flow out from the loop not towards the loop but the buck counter and boost counter the average current towards the load so we may replace the polarity like this if we replace this polarity the voltage will be positive but if we consider this polarity the voltage will be negative now average output current the average output voltage is a dc voltage if it is a load is r load the average output current is equal to average output voltage by r v not by r is equal to v by r the load is r load if this load is r lg load or re load the inductor acts as a short for the dc dc so there is an e voltage so the old current i not is equal to v not minus e by r this is the average current for the rle or re load now do it yourself i listed four questions the first question is asked in trb 2017 triple examination second question is is 2018 examination third question is tnpc combined engineer service examination fourth one is gate 2019 examinations this four uh, this four questions are standard questions this concept is very important for all the examinations so just try these questions and command your answers my answer is for the first question option a is correct for the second question option a third question option a fourth question all these questions option a is correct is my point of view if you have mismatched answer or if you don't have the concepts clearly just post your doubts in our incident center whatsapp group definitely you can get clarification continuously watch our channel get good marks in the computer examination thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share